Welcome to another edition of IMO Sports with Pedro Justice. Did you see Gennady, Gennadyevich Golovkin face off with Sergei Derevinchenko? Now, I know what you're thinking. Triple G's back in the ring in Madison Square Garden. He's facing Sergei Derevinchenko, who faced Daniel Jacobs. That is their common opponent. Now, Gennady Golovkin knocked down Daniel Jacobs and he defeated him by decision. Sergey, he lost a close fight to Danny Jacobs. And on my scorecard, that knockdown that Danny Jacobs got, it helped him win the fight. It was a close fight. I had to be real with my scoring. I couldn't just... Just because I like Danny Jacobs, give him all the rounds. He was not doing as good as I thought he was. It's either that or Derevinchenko is better than I thought he was. Now, I knew he would be a tough opponent, but he did come to fight. So for me, watching the fights that I've seen, he's not going to come and lay down for Triple G. So Triple G knocks him out. Triple G just knocked him out. It's not the same as Steve Rolls. I believe that this is a step up in competition based on the opponents that Triple G wants to face. Obviously, he wants to face Canelo. Canelo doesn't want to fight right now. So, it, I mean, it's Andrade, but right now, <laughs> he's just trying to get a Canelo fight, Triple G is. And so, I don't think Dervinchenko is a step down in a fight. I believe it's an opportunity because if a fighter gets old all of a sudden, could this be the night Dervinchenko comes in there and wins? I still feel that Triple G is strong and that I have him winning in the fight. But there's always a chance anything could happen. Let me know what you think. Until next time, it's Pedro Justice.